Hello, this is Mrs. C. S. Nirali, Assistant Professor, Food Chemistry and Nutrition Department, KKWA College of Food Technology, Saraswati Nagar Campus, Nashik. Under course number FC112, course title Biochemistry. Today we will see regarding determination of total carbohydrates by phenol sulfuric acid method. Coming to principle, in hot acidic medium, glucose is dehydrated to hydroxymethyl furfur. This forms a green colored product with a phenol and has absorption maximum at 490 nanometers. Material phenol 5% redistilled reagent grade, phenol 50 grams dissolved in water and diluted to 1 liter. Sulfuric acid 96% reagent grade. Standard glucose stock 100 mg in 100 ml of water. Working standard. 10 ml of stocks diluted to 100 ml with distilled water. Procedure Weigh 100 mg of the sample into a boiling tube. Hydrolyze by keeping it in a boiling water bath for 3 hours with 5 ml of 2.5 normal SCL and cool to room temperature. Neutralize it with solid sodium carbonate until the effervescence ceases. Make up the volume to 100 ml and centrifuge. Whip it out. 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8 and 1 ml of the working standard into a series of test tubes. Whip it out 0.1 and 0.2 ml of the sample solution into separate test tubes. So make up the volume in each tube to 1 ml with water. Set a blank with 1 ml of water. Add 1 ml of phenol solution to each tube. Add 5 ml of 96% sulfuric acid to each tube and shake well. After 10 minutes, shake the contents in the tubes and place in a water bath at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. Read the color at 490 nanometers. Calculate the amount of total carbohydrate present in the sample solution using the standard graph. Coming to cal calculation, absorbance cor corresponds to 0.1 milliliters of test is equal to XMG of glucose. 100 ml of the sample solution contains x by 0 0.1 into 100 mg of solution glucose. That is all the percentage of total carbohydrate present. Thank you for your patience listening.